Hi YouTube, today we're going to have a look at an SSD drive from Samsung. This is in a 2.5 inch form factor and 7mm high. This is the 250GB version. It also comes in at 120GB, 500GB, 750GB and 1TB flavours as well. It supports SATA 6 gigabit per second or SATA 3 and it's also backwards compatible with SATA Revision 2 at 3 gigabits per second and SATA Revision 1 at one and a half gigabits per second. It sports a Samsung 3-core MEX controller. It uses a NAND flash memory at DDR2.0 spec, which runs at 400 megabits per second. On the 120 gig version, it comes with 256 megabytes of DRAM cache memory. On this model, the 250 gig and the 500, it comes with 512 megabytes of DRAM cache memory. And on the 750 gig and the one terabyte models, it comes with one gigabyte of DRAM cache memory. All the drives in this range are stated to have a maximum sequential read of up to 540 megabytes per second. On the 250 gig and higher drives, it's alleged to have a maximum sequential write of 520 megabytes per second. And the 120 gigabyte model has a maximum sequential write of 410 megabytes per second. This drive also supports trim and smart technology. Enough of all the jargon and all the technical specs. Let's open this up and have a look. Okay, so here we are presented with the drive in the box. We'll just have a look at that in a moment. The top is empty and underneath has some paperwork, so we'll have a look at that. Okay, first of all, we have an installation guide, which will tell you how to install it into your laptop computer or whichever computer you use to use it in. Next, we have the Samsung solid state drive warranty statement. And we have some software here. Looking at the back of the box, let's just see if there's any more additional information we haven't covered. The included software is the Samsung data migration software to help you perform an easy and simple upgrade. And there's also Samsung Magician software for SSD performance management. One last thing I forgot to note was this drive comes with a three year limited warranty as well. So what I'll do now is I'll show you the drive itself. Here it is, it is very, very thin and very, very light. This is the first SSD I own. And on the bottom we have some technical specs. And on the end we have the SATA power and data connectors. And obviously the other end and all the sides are blank apart from mounting screw holes. So what I'm going to do now is I shall pop this into my laptop, do a fresh installation of Windows 7, but before I do that I will erase my current 80GB hard drive that's in there and do a fresh installation of Windows 7 on that as well and then I'll run some drive speed comparisons on this compared to the standard 80GB hard drive in the laptop. Okay so with the laptop with its standard 80GB Western Digital mechanical hard drive in, we shall do a boot up speed test to start with. All these tests will be performed with the battery fully charged and it plugged in running off mains power. Okay, so we just passed the 30 second mark. At 45 seconds. Okay, so that was about 55 seconds once we had the final blue ring around the cursor. So that is now booted up into the desktop. And now for a boot up using the Samsung 840 EVO SSD installed.
So that took around about 24 seconds to boot up. Okay, just to give you an idea of the speed of this machine, we'll go to the computer properties. Here we can see that it is an Acer Extensor 5235. It is running a Celeron dual core CPU at 1.9 gigahertz. There are three gigabytes of RAM available in the system and it is running a 64 bit version of Windows 7 Professional. So let's have a look at the Windows Experience Index. And here you can see that the primary hard disk has got a rating of 5.0 out of a maximum of 7.9. This computer only has a SATA 2 hard drive interface, so we're not gonna get the full speed from the SSD when we do test that. Okay, so with the Samsung 840 Evo SSD installed, we're gonna have a look at the Windows Experience Index. And here you can see that the primary hard disk scored 7.7 out of a maximum of 7.9. Okay, so here we are with Crystal Disk Mark version three. We're gonna do a disk test, and we'll run all of these at the default settings. Okay, so that's the disk speed test finished, and as you can see, we've got a sequential read speed of 47.27 megabytes per second, and a sequential write speed of 47.01 megabytes per second. So with the Samsung 840 Evo SSD installed, we're going to run Crystal Disk Mark on default settings again. Okay, folks, so there we go. That is now completed. As we can see, the sequential read speed is 272.6 megabytes per second, and the write speed is 256.3 megabytes per second. Please note that this laptop does only have a SATA 2 interface, which runs at three gigabits per second, so it's not taking full advantage of the drive, which will operate at SATA revision three at six gigabits per second. So if you have a look at these scores, you will see that they are approximately half of the maximum rated read and write speeds from Samsung. Okay, folks, so after all of those tests, you can see that having an SSD in your system makes a major, major improvement to disk speed and booting up the system. If you work with a lot of photographs or video or anything that has larger file sizes and you need to shift around a lot of data, an SSD is definitely the way to go if you do want to save time. But do remember that they do come in a lot smaller capacities than what you can normally get in a rotating hard drive. If you'd like to purchase a Samsung SSD, I will leave a link in the description below where you can purchase one from Amazon if you wish to do so. And as usual, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know.